What is up, speedsters? Welcome to my Flash Season 5 Episode 2 Trailer Breakdown. Now, what I do, if you're brand new to this channel, is I uh, react to the trailers first, and then I then go straight into the breakdown. I haven't seen it yet. I like to experience it and then just give my thoughts straight afterwards. But if you're not interested in that, head straight to the top pin comment down in the comment section below to get straight to the breakdown. But I'm really hyped. I've got such a like an upbeat vibe from uh, episode one. It was amazing. Check out my review if you haven't done so already in the cards above. But other than that, guys, subscribe to this channel for more Flash videos and more trailer breakdowns and reviews every week just like this. Uh, and like the video if you do go on to enjoy it. But let's get straight into this. Is this part of my training? Just watch. God, look at you move. She never wants to leave her dad's side. I think it's time for you to get back to basics. Oh. It takes time to hone your skills. Gotcha. That's the Flash, all new episode this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on the CW. Well, that was very quick, but very cool. It looks like uh, Barry is going to obviously train Nora in the ways of being a speedster. That was, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. I guess that is obviously predictable um, because it, that's one of the reasons they used for her staying around. Uh, well, Barry used for her staying around because Cisco was just like, that didn't, wasn't the whole point of this trying to get her back to the future but no yeah um yeah Nora is a bit of a rookie like Barry was in season one but it kind of seems even more so uh so I actually can't wait to see more father and daughter bonding but I do think that this will add uh more saltiness for Iris and just like I said in my review earlier today um I'm sure we'll learn even more about what kind of went on between Nora and Iris uh you know in the future uh, whether that's freaking Iris saying, you can't use your powers, you can't do this, and they had a massive row and fell out because Nora threatened to go back in time, and then she did. So I can't wait to see what wrinkly-faced Iris is going to react like when she comes back at the end of the season. But just like I said in my review, one of the things I'm most excited for is the arrival of Chris Klein Cicada this episode, because I think we'll actually be getting really introduced to him, uh, judging by the synopsis, which I should have read out earlier, but this is it. So the synopsis for episode two is as follows. Chris Klein joins the Flash. As as Barry helps his daughter Nora become a better speedster, he and Team Flash also track down a meta stealing high-tech weapons only to cross paths with a new foe named Cicada, who is hunting the very same meta with nefarious intent. Now we get a good look at this new meta who's going after the high-tech weapons. I believe she's played by Erin Cummings uh, and she's playing the role of Vanessa Jensen. Now I can't think of anyone off the top of my head as to who that is. I even did a little bit of a search, but I can't find the name of the actual metahuman of the week that she's playing. Uh, but, you know, she looks pretty cool. I'm not expecting, like, oh, this to be, like, a massive overarching, like, you know, metahuman. It, at the end of the day, it's another metahuman, just like Gridlock. Expect Gridlock level version of interference, maybe a little bit more during the episode. But at the same time, Cicada will be going after her, and that is what Team Flash is going to be uh, catching on to, you know, during this episode. However, you know, I'm kind of surprised that the trailer didn't show really much. I'm sure there might be an extended trailer, but, yeah, we barely got to see any... Well, we didn't get to see any of the Cicada side of things. It was more just the father and daughter relationship uh, in this trailer. Iris naturally getting a bit jealous, even saying she's always by her father's side. Uh, but yeah, no Cicada. So like, why not tease us with Chris Klein? He's coming next episode. Why not? So why not tease us with him, CW? However, guys, we may not get any of that in the trailer. But what we did get before all of this came out uh, quite a little while ago, actually, was promo photos for episode two. And that is when we see Cicada standing there and we even see a few more uh, pictures of Nora and um, Barry in, you know, all suited up going out and about. Uh, but I'll play, I'll show those uh, throughout this video. Now, from what we've learned from episode one and what we kind of knew already, Nora is an absolute rookie. And we hear Barry saying, it takes time to hone your skills. And essentially what she's doing is like being in class and your dad's the mentor. Uh, because Barry, as we all know, has made some mistakes, to say the least. He has made actually so many mistakes forging the flash that he is today. Uh, so it looks like she's going to be witnessing all the rough and gruff parts of his flash career, uh, trying to like teach her important lessons that, you know, she won't repeat herself, but it's inevitable. Like, well, I think, you know, she's going to still muck up plenty of times this season, I'm sure. I think we even got teased with that at San Diego Comic Con at the time. Uh, but at least this will serve as a little bit of a guideline to follow. Is that beginning scene as a part of the lounge as well? I, I don't reckon 
recognize that set. So I'm wondering if it's like another new room or the lounge. But it's really nice to see new parts of Star Labs. I'm pretty sure that's a new part anyway. I wonder what else Barry is going to teach Nora this episode. Is it too early for to teach her as much as throwing a lightning bolt uh, with the speed force? It's probably way too early to teach her things like entering flash time and stuff like that. For all we know, that could be a unique ability to Barry. Just how Nora Allen obviously has the unique ability to reverse time. Which is absolutely absolutely insane. But I am wondering, you know, when we see Barry writing stuff on the whiteboard there, maybe like Speed Force-esque equations, trying to teach you like how you can get faster or like understanding a little bit better. Just think how freaking powerful Barry has got in the Speed Force ever since season one. Like when he came out rushing out of the Speed Force in season one, he was like freaking you know dripping with speed force energy it was insane and then just imagine being taught by like the the guru of all gurus even though barry still will make mistakes uh so i'm really looking forward to seeing what nora can learn off him i hope they do actually show us something other than her just i don't know taking down a villain well i really hope that she just does like a freaking lightning bolt toss because I think that'd be really cool. Who knows an ability like that could be a unique way of stopping this villain here because her powers seem pretty cool as well because at one point in this trailer she manages to suspend Barry in this little green bubble. You have to assume that this is how this villain is stealing that tech as well. Maybe she can create a bubble and then like bring it through or something like that but I'm sure the villain can do more than what we just see in this trailer. But we do see a Mercury sign there so you have to think maybe Mercury Labs it, I mean it's got to be right and high tech as well but honestly i know this video is called a freaking trailer breakdown but there's not too much else to say about the trailer in particular there now going on to the promo images as i said we can see cicada here he looks creepy the get up isn't absolutely like holy crap like look at how awesome that armor or like whatever he's looking looks it's more just like low-key simple and that is quite effective i wonder if he will get any upgrades i actually kind of doubt it because i don't see why he would change his look i can't wait to find out what the respirator is for maybe something happened to him that was caused by the flash there could be loads of reasons but for whatever it is he 100 percent blames metahumans but the interesting thing here and it looks seriously seriously dramatic is that vibe is going against him now we did actually get footage of this in the most recent uh trailer before obviously uh episode one um ed and that was vibe going against um cicada and he's even like holding his hand out like this uh maybe he's trying to vibe something maybe the lightning bolt dagger hit his hand we'll have to see there but what we know is that cicada especially from the end of episode one just wants to kill every metahuman i just think my most hyped thing about this whole episode is this moment either between cisco and uh cicada and then when barry will come face to face with him as well i don't think we're gonna learn everything there but it's just gonna be like at the end of the episode who is that guy? We need to stop this guy. What if he goes after other metahumans? We're going to have to f try and find out who he is. Next episode like after that might be a little bit of filler. Then the next episode after that might be a bit more of an update. You, you, got, you guys kind of know how it goes in terms of like plot development with big bads like this now we do see ralph suited up as well so i'm really looking forward to seeing him actually going out in the field again whether it's against the metahuman of the week or if he actually you know bumps into cicada and somehow his abilities you know help i don't know scare him away because obviously it's not going to be the ending or showdown or the jewel of fates this episode in the promo photos as well we do see cisco with caitlin now i'm just gonna go ahead and say i think that this is just more plot development for the backstory of killer frost uh she might have like a cc jitters me up with Cisco saying yeah my father's death certificate was faked let's what can we do about this how can we look into this further I really cannot wait to find out more about Killer Frost's background and and what the heck is going on with metahumans before the particle accelerator now these photos here with Team Flash in Star Labs now I have to think that this is after the cicada thing and maybe this is pure speculation maybe they're looking at what the lightning bolt dagger can do because what we see here is that Cisco is you know in his vibe get up what we know is that vibe is absolutely cowering not cowering away but you know you know cicada is intimidating the heck out of him uh from the other photo of episode two so this may be the after effects of it maybe they're reviewing some footage maybe they're seeing who who is this guy what is he doing maybe they're even reviewing footage of uh previous stuff from cicada that they may have found but other than that guys there is not too much else to say about next week's episode if there are any updates i'll try my best to get them out to you but what did you think of this trailer do you think that they should have shown more do you think that they should have shown more cicada in the actual trailer rather than just the promo photos i really think they should have it not that i'm not hyped or anything but i definitely think it would have been like an even further of a home run after that first episode uh teasing chris klein as the big bad um already in episode two 
you. So guys, anyway, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're brand new to this channel, why not subscribe for more Flash videos just like this? If you want to stay a little bit more up to date with me personally, links, as always, are in the description down below. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you speedsters in the next video. Goodbye.